welcome students today we will discuss the topic linear homogeneous partial uh, differential equation of order n okay so this is uh, of the form so this uh, homogeneous partial differential equation of the form a not do n uh, z by do x bar n plus a1 do n z by do x bar n minus 1 do y okay no. ओमोजीन Okay, so if all the partial derivatives are not same or uh, not the same order, then the equation is called the non-homogeneous partial differential equation. Okay, now we only solve homogeneous partial differential equation. So this is the form. In this form, I will rewrite this. So we can write the symbolic form of this above equation. That is uh, a naught. Okay. So a naught. So d power n plus a one d power n minus one d s a two d power n minus two d s four square. So up to we can write a n so d s four square. Okay. So in the z common case, we can take z common equal to f of x comma y. Okay. So what I did here just उंड So this is the nth order partial differential equation, and also we can write simply f of d comma d s. Okay, because it is involves only d and d s and some constant. We call it f of x comma y. This is the um, simplified form of linear homogeneous partial differential equation of order n. So this is the partial differential of order n. So we want to solve this. How to solve this? First, uh, the solution is the solution is the solution of the partial differential equation is two uh, two types. One is complementary function and another particular integral. Okay. First, I mean I need to find complementary function then particular integral. Uh, now I am saying that we can do it. So we need to find complementary function then particular integral. I need to find. Now we will see how to find the complementary function. So complementary function can be written just as f of d comma d s z equal to zero. Now what it will be? That means right hand side zero will come out. So ma, uh, in case of d will come out, we will replace it with d s. So, if one replace one here, if you are replacing d by m, d s by one, then it is called the axillary equation, okay, equal to zero. So, it is the axillary equation uh, in variable m. And also, we can factor this is the nth order uh, partial differential equation. So, we can factor this like d minus m one d s, d minus m two d s. D minus m n d s. Okay, so once 
we are considering this, we will get n rows. Okay, using the n rows, so we can find the top elementary function. So if our rows are only distinct or not, that is uh, m root is there. So n star equation like n root is there. That is, you can see m one, m two, up to m n. Okay. The n roots if it, if n roots may different than the then the complementary function okay then the complementary function is that equal to uh, f one y plus m one x plus f two y plus f two x up to f n y plus m one x okay next thing uh, if the roots one repeat I will now if the factors are repeated. It is if it is repeated n times, then the complementary function uh, that that is z equal to f one y plus m one x plus x into f two y plus m one x so up to x four n minus one f n y plus m one x. Okay. Suppose uh, just to tell me if n equal to two, so that is if order is two, order two. Okay. So second order in the we will get two roots. Okay, m equal to m one and the m two. Okay, if both roots are equal, m equal to m one equal to m two, then the solution will be in the first sub two zero term. Okay, z equal to f one y plus m one x plus x into f two. Y plus m one x because m one and m two both roots are same. So only uh, R at two k. So for R at three k, one more term in extra term. So in here in that one, in here n minus one na in n equal to so three na two. That is x square. So another one term it will be x square of of three y plus m one x because three roots are equal. So only two roots are equal up to this you want to. Okay, this is the procedure to find the complementary function. Okay, now um, to find the general solution, I need to find complementary so particular integral also. Okay, so now I will discuss how to find the particular integral. So particular integral so is commonly applied form. Okay, particular integral is one by the power d comma d s into the power x comma y. So this is the Right hand side given function. Okay. So where's done this right hand side function f of x comma y? Uh, we have some standard types to find the particular integral. Suppose uh, the type f of a x plus b y is formed. Just if you replace whenever d by a and the radius by b. Okay. So this is the nth order partial multiplication. So you want to integrate n times. Okay, so here b is um, taking this is b okay, del x plus b y. So if you are substituting b equal to a, d del x equal to b, and if denominator is not equal to zero, then you can complete this is the particular integral. If not, so when denominator uh, is zero, then you can modify this. You can factor this. Okay, that is a loops. Some loops are repeated. Hmm? But this is n order equation. If n loops are repeated, then you can write one by b d minus a d s n all power n f of a x plus b y equal to x power n by b power n n factorial f of a x plus b y. Okay. Ipo uh, here hmm, you will see. So b is nothing but Coefficient of d. The n is nothing but the power n in the order of order. Okay, so if this is the uh, procedure when denominator is zero. Suppose uh, in right hand side, particularly sin a x plus b y or cos a x plus b y, then they have this applied procedure, and uh, you can use also uh, use this procedure and. Uh, Uh, what you will get answer this and this you will get same answer okay because 
this is also uh, from a express by one part hmm? so that is the procedure wherever d square so you should replace minus a square wherever d ds square you want to replace minus b square and wherever d ds just you replace by minus a b what is our a and b this square d is nothing but let's say a is coefficient of x so b is nothing but coefficient of y okay so first i will discuss the problem based on these two types okay then we will discuss another types to find the particular type now you see this is the problem number i am taking but d cube minus 4 d square d ds plus 4 d d ds square z equal to 6 sin 3x plus 6y this is the problem we need to find solve okay solve means we need to find complementary function okay z solution of, the, of this is complementary function plus particular effect first i need to discuss complementary function so to find complementary function so i want to write the axillary equation okay so what is the axillary equation just you replace by d by m and the d dash by 1 in the given equation so you should write that is m cube minus 4m square plus 4m equal to 0 okay so here we will start the solution okay lastly on the m common at the just m again there m square minus 4m plus 4 equal to 0 so just to solve this m equal to 0 and this is the quadratic equation so you can if you are finding the roots you will be 2 comma 2 okay you can use the formulas we know how to factor this also so here third order equation so we will meet three roots that is m1 and m2 m3 here one root is different and the two roots are same okay two roots are same means so we, we can use the uh, complementary function the case two which one roots are different that is the first case okay so we are going to find that so if first one the one root different are okay so now we actually now we have done formula complementary function here complementary function so we have one y plus m one x okay plus uh, we have two y plus m two x m two x plus the two roots are equal x into f three uh, y plus m two x okay so what is our m one m one is zero therefore we will write f one y next day both roots are equal therefore i am using the second case uh, function so in the complementary function f, that is f2 y plus m2 m2 is 2 y plus 2x plus x into f3 y plus 2x okay this is the complementary function now find the we need to find the particular integral so to find the particular integral, so this is the order three, hmm? order three. Therefore, our formula will be three integral. Okay. For u is nothing but u and the number of law. That is that is uh, so you have alpha x in alpha x plus beta y. Okay. So in general, a particular integral we have to find one by f of d comma d s into f of x comma y. Okay. So this f of x comma y is nothing but six sine three x plus six y. Okay. The right hand side only. Then it is given the right hand side function f of x comma y. You should write this. So above one by f of d comma d ds is 
our given differential equation for our entry. Now, this is wherever D you want to replace by A. A is a tree. Wherever D is, you want to replace by B. That is B. It is nothing but B is six. So just here you put the six on the left corner, one by three cube, because T is three. So T is B is three means three square. B is is six. So you substitute here. Okay. You are substituting, and U is uh, what? I am taking alpha x plus beta y. So that is this is the actually can be not alpha or beta. Okay, whatever notation of the problem, the sign u actually this is u. If you are simplifying this, you will get six by two forty three, and we have three integral. If you are integrating one time sign u, uh, that is minus cos u. Okay, so if we are integrating cos u, okay, we will get sin u, but there is another whole sin u, negative sin. Okay. So if we are integrating sin u, so integration of sin it will be minus cos u. Okay, but there is one minus, so minus into minus plus cos u. Okay. U is you want to replace by three x. Plus six y. So this is the particular integral. Okay, this is the particular integral. So what is our general solution? The general solution is nothing but complementary function plus particular integral. Complementary function is this is our complementary function. One problem and the particular integral is this is our particular integral. Okay, so. This is the one method. Okay, same problem. I will complete the another method. Okay, that is uh, when the right hand side is sine three x plus cos y. Uh, sorry, sine three x plus six y. That is uh, sine a x plus b y or cos a x plus b y. That part. So complementary function we know. Okay, now you see particular integral. So wherever the what is the procedure? If sine a x suppose right hand side is sine a x plus b y, then the wherever d square you should replace by minus a square. Wherever d a square you should replace minus b square. Wherever d d s Equal to minus a into b. Okay, so here a is nothing but three. That is coefficient of x. So b is nothing but coefficient of y. That is six here. Okay, here minus three into b is nothing but six. So if you are replacing. So you can this is square. Now you can substitute here. So d cube I can write d cube is nothing but d square into b. So d square the square will be d square is in here. So that is minus. Okay, you should not forget minus here. Minus symbol. Okay. So that is minus nine. So here minus. Thirty-six. So now for d square to minus nine, so in the three we will have minus four d square again replaced with minus nine. D minus is the sub key part plus it is minus. So here uh, just if we are treating this d square d minus square is minus uh, thirty-six. Okay. So that is six into four. I will get one forty four. I will get negative sign. That's why I can write one forty four into b. Sine three x plus six y. Okay. So after simplification, we will get denominator 
minus 153b plus 36d dash sin ax that is sin ax plus 6y. In the just you take a line outside. If you are taking outside line, so you will get a 4 d dash minus 17 d. In denominator, uh, you cannot use uh, the again it is very important something. So we need to give the square and the square and square and not here can use this process there. Okay. So I want to uh, multiply and divide it by this conjugate. Okay, what is our conjugate here? Denominator conjugate 4 d uh, dash plus 17 d. Okay, so if you are doing this process process, uh, 4 d dash plus 17 d divided by 16 d dash square minus, okay, that is 289 d square, you will get, okay. So what is uh, how in this term we are getting in this term just we want to uh, multiply okay and divide by 4 dBs plus something d. So you can write as it is sin dx plus 6y. Just we can simplify this, you will get 2 by 3. And if you are simplifying this 2 by 6 0 7 5. Okay. And if you are seeing this term 4 dBs plus something d sin 3x plus 6y. Here d dash, no, first if d dash means you want to differentiate partially with respect to y. Okay, d dash means you want to differentiate partially with respect to y. Suppose d you know, give differentiate partially with respect to x, you should not forget it. So if you have denominator d you want to integrate with respect to x. Okay, if you have d as denominator, you want to integrate with respect to y. So you should not forget it. Okay, so here there is no denominator d s, so you don't worry about integration. Just you see only the differentiation. So d dash means we know differentiation with respect to y. Just to differentiate this sign. Okay, sign we are differentiating sign. You will get cos 3x plus 6y. If you see inside, there is 6y. If you differentiate this, you will get 6 uh, remaining. So 6 into there will be 1, 4. Good. So 6 into 4, 24. Cos 3x plus 6y. Plus, again, there is d here. So d means you want to differentiate to x. Okay. So if you are differentiating sign, it will be cos 3x plus 6y. So inside you see there is an x term. So if you are differentiating here, you will get 3. And uh, there is a 17. So 3 into 17, you will get 51. Okay. Just to uh, take common terms and uh, you see uh, what is. I, uh, just simplify this, you, you will get 2 into 75. Okay, because here cos just uh, you take this cos 3x plus 6y common and you will simplify, you will get 2 into 7 by 6 0 7 5. Just you try to uh, this uh, simplification, you will get 6 by 2 party three. Okay, uh, and again you can simplify this, you will get 2 by 81 cos 3x plus 6y. Okay, so this is the particular level as I already discussed in this problem in the uh, in previous method. Both method it will be same answer uh, and you can write general solution is complementary question plus particular identity. Okay. Is it clear? So uh, thank you friends. So this is our um, today's class. We will discuss next class uh, tomorrow. Thank you.